Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Bears Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Paul and the other bear, his name is Rob. He's actually in the next room working on putting some furniture together. So say hey Rob. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if you heard him or not. But um, today we are doing, uh, we're going to be canning uh, blueberry preserves or blueberry jam. So the reason I, uh, I don't normally do a lot of fruit, but uh, this was a great opportunity because the blueberries were um, on sale for 99 cents a pint and they're organic. So I was like, you know, I can't pass that up. You know, normally I wouldn't, you know, give it a second thought because we just don't eat that much jam here. But occasionally we like, like this little something sweet. Um, what we're doing right now is we're not um, eating a lot of sugars in our diet. We're eliminating as much as we can. And we're also not eating like crap carbs like you know breads and pastas and stuff like that right now because it's just it's just not good for you at least in our opinion but um but in, and we're we're feeling the benefits of that or reaping the rewards of that i should say so but i do want to have these on the shelf they are um they're great gifts and also you know when you get a little hankering for something sweet you know you want something that's gonna you know scratch that itch if you will and uh, I think a low sugar recipe will do the trick. Now the, this recipe I found online, I went through several different ones, but I found this one. So it does still, for eight cups of blueberries, it still does call for three and a half cups of sugar. So I'm going to lower the sugar by one cup. Um, I would, uh, ideally I would like to half it, but I don't want to mess with the recipe too much in the acidity. And um, you know, then I'll probably add about a half of a tablespoon of the uh, lemon juice that it calls for. Using a no, uh, no or low sugar recipe calls for the no or low sugar um, short gel. So the, the original and then the, uh, the original and then that is the, uh, the low. So this is the one we're using. So make sure you're reading the box on that and also check your expiration date. So uh, I just have that there for, you know, for education purposes, I suppose. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and mashing down these blueberries and we're going to get rolling. So here we go. The recipe calls to calls for you to mix the pectin, the lemon juice, which in this case is going to be about four tablespoons, and a quarter cup of sugar in one bowl. Then to take the blueberries and put them in the large pot. So the large pot is on the stove right there. I'll go ahead and get that in and then I'll bring you back and show you the pot. So here we have the blueberries on the stove and we're bringing it up to a boil constantly starting as we go along. And once it starts getting to a boil, go ahead and add the pectin mixture and incorporate that in well and keep stirring. It, it'll come up to a hard boil. You want to keep that boil rolling so it cannot be stirred down as you see here. And once we got that rolling boil that can't be stirred down, this is when you want to go ahead and add in your sugar and incorporate that in well. And it takes a minute or two to incorporate the sugar in properly. But you want to be stirring the entire time do not stop for any reason and we get that incorporated in and then once we got a boil going for about a minute we go ahead and slide it off the burner and do our doneness test on a chilled plate <laughs> so what we're doing now is the jam is done so i put it on a dollop on a cold plate that was in the freezer and it's set up really nicely it looks really good but what you have to do now, because it's still scalding hot and there are bits of fruit in there that are going to float up in the liquid. So it needs to cool for about 10 minutes or so. And then you go back and you start to redistribute before you go ahead and put it in the jar. So we got about 10 minutes from this point. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean my little mess up here. And then we're going to go ahead and set the jars up. And they're already in the can or ready to go. We just got to get them in the jars. So, all right, here we go.
Okay, your canner must come up to a rolling boil. And that's what a water bath rolling boil looks like. So once you're at a rolling boil, this recipe calls for a water bath for only five minutes, which I found kind of weird. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do it for the 10 minutes. And um, after that, we'll see what they look like when they come out of the canner. And here we are, folks. Fresh blueberry preserves or, or jam, whatever you want to call it, fresh out of the canner. I hope you got something out of this video and enjoyed it. It was a quick one, but I wanted to go over it with you and also learn at the same time. So please hit that like and, like and subscribe button, and uh, we will just see you on the next one. Take care now.